you're well, I'm Trisha from Secret Style File. You may have seen a few of my video tutorials already. I've done a couple of wedding guest tutorials and a couple of colour looks for this colour series after the black smoky eye. A great how to wear green. And today it is all about blue. So blue is a very common colour in Asian outfits, in floral prints, and generally blue just really brightens up your eyes so if you're looking really really tired wearing a hint of blue and even if it's just navy that will really brighten up your eyes i think a lot of people are afraid of wearing or sticking blue like all over their eyelids so today i'm going to show you a nice sophisticated way to wear blue all over your eyelid keeping the rest of your makeup very neutral just so your blue stands out and you don't look too overdone so i really hope you enjoy this tutorial So here I am with one eye done and the other not, so you can see quite a big difference and every time I blink you'll see a lovely gorgeous flash of blue which is basically what we're aiming for, so kind of sophisticated but you've still got a flash of blue but it doesn't look kind of trashy and overdone. Okay so I have already done my skin which I will talk you through when we finish off the skin. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a primer because you definitely definitely did a primer for this look. So I am using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Take my blending shade which I think for this look is very very important. So I am taking just a mid brown shade, you can use any matte mid brown shade and I'm using the shade Truth from Illamasqua, it's just nice mid brown shade and I'm just using this with a blending brush and going right into my crease. I'm going to take a NARS Velvet Shadow Stick. The blue eyeshadow really sticks to this. It's a really great pencil. So I'm going to, and this is in black, this would be to make your blue look more vibrant. So I'm just putting this on the outer corner of my lid, just going up to my crease but not on my crease. I'm going to take that same blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm just going to take a lighter shimmer shade for my inner corner because I don't want my inner corner to look too kind of dark and I don't want the blue to go right to the inner corner. So I'm just taking the shade All That Glitters from MAC, which is a really nice neutral nude shimmer. And I'm just going to put that right into my inner corner. Now it's time to add some blue. You can find blue eyeshadows everywhere. Most brands do blue eyeshadows, and blue is a colour that a lot of brands do really well. So I like ones from Urban Decay, Smashbox, MAC. There's a lot of brands that have got a lot of good blue eyeshadows. So today I'm going to use one from a brand called Colour Chase and it's a blue pigment and it's in cobalt blue. How gorgeous this blue is. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to wet my brush slightly so the pigment sticks and then it sticks to my eyes. I'm going to use the Smashbox Prime Water. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a spray and just tap that onto my hand so it's not soaking wet. And then take the and literally just pat this on, concentrating on the outer lid. And as you can see, this is sticking amazingly well to the NARS shadow stick I put down earlier. going to blend that lighter shade and the blue slightly here and I'm going to take my blending brush again and just blend into my crease, not taking anything on because it's still got the shadow from before. That's just all blended nicely. I'm then going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and just draw under my eyebrows. This is just to define my brows. I really think it makes the whole look stand out 
mostly in that with a shading brush and just apply some eyeliner and I'm just using the 17 Make Your Mark Felt Tip Liner in black. It's just easy to use, no fuss. gel liner, I'm adding the Maybelline gel liner into my waterline, just going straight into my waterline here, so it's just, it's just in black, I think black just really makes the skin stand out. Today I've used the NARS Sheer Glow foundation which just gives a nice even coverage, kind of gives like a slight glowy finish. I already contoured which I will touch up in a minute, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. So now I'm going to take some NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just draw my usual triangle under my eye using a Mini Beauty Blender to blend that out and then to set that straight away and prevent any creasing I'm going to then take a larger Beauty Blender and some pressed powder, I'm using the NARS one, and just dipping the beauty blender into the powder and straight away just going on top of where I put the concealer. And at the moment it might look like there's a bit of a product build up, but we'll smooth that away in a little while. But this just prevents your under eye concealer from going all wrinkly. Just go back in with a little bit of contour in the hollows of my cheeks. And then just around my forehead, my jawline. And then taking a small blending brush, MAC 217, and just to my nose. I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush, but just wiping away the excess powder and just applying powder to anywhere where I might tend to get a bit shiny so around my nose my chin and my forehead. Now before applying the false eyelashes I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara which is really good and I'm just doing a really thin coat. This is just so my eyelashes, my real eyelashes blend well with the false eyelashes. I'm really excited about these ones. These are from Eskido and they're some mink, they're mink eyelashes and they come in this really cute little box. So obviously one's on already so here's the other one. I think because of the length of these, these are probably more suited to like a really simple eye makeup look. But I just really can't wait any longer to try these lashes. Pinch them in the centre. on with mink eyelashes you should be really careful not to get actual product or mascara on your mink lashes so I'm just going to leave those now. So now for my lower lash line and then I'll apply some bottom mascara. So I'm going to take that NARS eyeshadow stick again and just run it really close to my lower lash line. And then taking a navy eyeshadow and I've taken a MAC one which is called Through the Night, which is really gorgeous to create a lovely look all by itself as well. And I'm just going to take this, blend this in with the black. So this will kind of give a hint of blue, but not too much. And it's not black, so it doesn't look like way dramatic. And then just taking a little bit of that, all that glitters from MAC, just on the corner of my angled brush, and just taking that on my in the corner. I'm going to go back with some mascara and just apply some mascara to my lower lashes on both sides because I didn't leave the other side earlier. Now for some blush and I'm just going to keep it very simple with blush. So I'm just going to use kind of like an everyday shade, nothing too extreme. I'm going to use NARS Orgasm because it's got that corally hint and I think Coral looks really gorgeous with this shade of blue. It's like a turquoisey blue. I'm not going to put too much highlight because I've already got some shimmer in the blush. So I'm going to just take 
a little bit of this Dior Nude Skin Bronze Highlight Duo. I'm just going to take the lighter shade and just above my cheekbones, just highlight. Lips, it's obviously up to you. I'll definitely keep your lips very, very nude depending on what you're wearing and whether you go kind of walk more pinky nude or more corally nude. It's a soft matte lip cream in the colour Cans. Completely matte and when it's dry it's a little bit more kind of left, it's not as dark as this, it's just because it's a bit wet. So that is the complete look of how to wear a flash of blue for the Asiana colour series I'm doing. If there is any particular colours or looks you would like to see, please comment below and let me know. You can also tweet me as well. I'll see you very soon with another video tutorial. Bye guys!